Newcastle on, just Matt. emerging from the tunnel now to a huge roar. The fans of both teams leaping to their feet and giving them a terrific ovation. So uh, Rangers just preparing to kick off. The famous slope has gone, of course, and uh, we have two very committed teams here. So the referee checking his watch, and we're underway at Easter Road in this crucial match, and right away it's Barry Ferguson launching the long ball forward, looking for the head of Purcell. Little touch there by Abelardi, but uh, the referee stepping in, and uh, Bernier have the free kick uh, just a few yards uh, outside the penalty area. Uh, Rangers' intentions made pretty clear uh, very, very quickly. Barry Ferguson getting the ball forward, Purcell winning it, Abelardi trying to get the second ball. So Alec McLeish, last time uh, Hibernian finished uh, third in the Premier League, he was the manager here. There'll be a bit of emotion in him today. He obviously wants his Rangers team to win this championship. But, uh, you know, the lads in the studio were mentioning Bobby Williamson earlier, the fine job he did here with young players. Alec McLeish here just before him also helped to uh, rear some of this young team. So it's uh, Ronald Vatterus now, the long ball across the halfway line. Rickson's in there ahead of Ryardin, and a little nudge there. Just coming up for the 10-minute mark. Oh, there's a mistake by the goalkeeper! Oh, no, goes hit the post. That is unbelievable. Simon Brown, well, what was he thinking of there? He gets away with it, and uh, Nacho Novo, who's failed to score in his last nine league games, was given a golden opportunity. Now you see what exa exactly what happened there. Jerry, you mentioned before that there was a bit of moisture on the field, but not there. The ball held up on the turf and uh, deceived uh, uh, Simon Brown in the goal, and Nova misses an open goal. Well, what an incident that was. If that had gone in, it would certainly have uh, put pressure on elsewhere. But uh, what uh, an incredible opportunity there for uh, Nacho Novo. The ball just spinning. Novo first time at Luke Netbound off the post and into the hands of the goalkeeper. And what an escape for Tony Mowbray's first signing. His last league win over Rangers was in October 2000. Uh, David Zatelli scored the only goal. And uh, the Hibs manager was Alex McLeish. Hibs have had a lean spell uh, against the Ibrox club, but uh, they did beat Rangers last season in the League Cup semi finals and penalties. Although they went on to uh, lose that final to Livingston. A step over there by uh, Buffel, who has to commit himself. He does well, gets it away from Brown, through to Purcell, a little touch by him. Buffel again, he's got Novo on the right hand side. In comes that to Novo, drives it across, and Purcell in there at the near post. And Novo is absolutely delighted with himself. And Alec McLeish has a lifeline here at Easter Road. Novo spotted, coming in on the right-hand side, nice little pass through to him. Yeah, Thomas Buffell here, Jerry's done exceptionally well, very composed, waiting for Nova to make up the ground. He's fired in, comes off a Hibs defender, I'm not sure there was, I think it was Ian Murray, as he came across and just deflected it in. In fact, it's Gary Colwell gets the last touch, takes it past Simon Brown. And uh, I didn't think the goal was coming, I didn't feel like the goal was coming. One bit of quality play from Buffell and Novo. And Alex McLeish is a happier man. And Caldwell certainly had to commit himself there because Purcell made the near post run. And yeah, there were bodies, yeah, there were certainly bodies coming in, and uh, Caldwell was committed. He had to try and make some kind of contact. The contact he's made wasn't good enough. And it's Hibs now threatening at the other end. This thing stands, this suits both. The Bernian. And Rangers of only Motherwell can uh, pinch a goal from Celtic at Fir Park. Alec McLeish looking for a miracle here. And he'll be thinking back to, well, a huge roar goes up in the stand. The Rangers stand here. And Motherwell, we are told, have scored. This is absolutely remarkable. The, the Rangers fans are going mad here. Mullable have scored against Celtic at Fir Park to make it one goal apiece.
So we're into the two minutes of stoppage time. It's Hibernian nil, Rangers 1, it's Motherwell 1, Celtic 1. And you know, the, the, the strange thing is, despite that goal in, there at, you know, at Fur Park, it's not changed the game here at all. Hibs are still happy just to sit out the rest of the game, as are Rangers. The tension is unbearable here, and I'm quite sure it's the same at the far end of the country. As Trevor said, if Alec McLeish wins this one, he could go on to win a few more, because uh, while Rangers have scrapped throughout the season to keep in touch, this will be remembered as one that Celtic uh, let slip, not once, but twice. The referee looks at his watch there. Alec McLeish is signalling here. Mullerwell have scored again, McDonald again, it's Mullerwell 2, Celtic 1. It's incredible, it's unbelievable. Look at the celebrations there. What a turnaround here this afternoon. You could never have imagined this. Rangers were happy just to keep possession, hoping for an equaliser. They haven't got one miracle, they've got two. And it looks as if Rangers are about to win the most unlikely championship. And it's all over, and Alec McLeish is swamped by his backroom staff. Fans are going mad here. The Stewarts will do well to keep order. Well, the faces tell it all. They cannot believe it. Rangers are champions of Scotland for the 51st time in their history. And Alec McLeish returns to the ground. And he's won a number of these young Hibs players. Alec Ray come back in the hope of winning a medal. I've got to say, I was among many that never thought Rangers could come back and win this. And Celtic must be absolutely shattered at Fort Park, but this is about Rangers now. And let's not forget two of these scenes of Rangers joy as fans invade the field that Hibernian have also qualified to play in Europe. Well, I mentioned earlier on, memories of Rangers clinching the 35th league title here back in 1974-75 under John Wallace. That day they halted Celtics nine in a row. Before that, Kilmarnock had won the championship. It had been a long time since Rangers had won the league. And uh, fans on the field here now celebrating. <laughs> Trevor, there have been a lot of dramatic finishes. Could you see that one coming? Well, no, I couldn't see it coming, I have to say. That the way that the, the uh, well, certainly how Celtic went ahead at Motherwell, thought they would have had enough to hold on to that. We know how depleted Motherwell have been. And uh, yet, Rangers did what they had to do. It hasn't been a convincing victory here, but it was enough. Hibs have obviously got what they've wanted as well. And uh, that's the UEFA Cup slot. So, just an amazing afternoon. And uh, shot ever lads in the foreground there was certainly one of the star performers this afternoon for Fernando Rickson needing a bit of a help up it's a very heavy trophy but he'll manage it Rangers champions for the 51st time so Barry Ferguson held the trophy as captain two years ago Fernando Rickson has it today and Alec McLeish with Andy Watson and Jan Wouters will have, I suspect, the mother of all parties tonight, as will these supporters here and the ones watching on television around the world. And the champion's anthem sounds around Easter Road. And uh, Shota Avaladze, who knows how to celebrate these occasions, we remember him in his sombrero and everything else a couple of years ago. There he is, high above the ball, and he deserves his... Uh, place up there today, himself and uh, Thomas Buffel, I thought were excellent, and he watched in the background there, just behind Alec McLeish, holding aloft the trophy, he's worked hard all year, he's been away looking at players around Europe as Rangers try to rebuild now for the challenges ahead, and look towards competition in football.